How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In this video I'm going to talk about three major categories. I will compare the similarities and also differences and hopefully can give you some insights about these majors. First, before we get started, please smash the like button and subscribe my channel. I really appreciate your support. Alright, the first category is computer science or computer engineering. The second category is electrical engineering or electrical and electronic engineering or electrical and computer engineering. Third category is mechanical engineering. So first, let's talk about the CE and CS. Basically, these two major are usually based in the uh, same school, and for the first year's curriculum, it's basically the same. They will learn, for example, uh, mathematics, uh, data structure, and also programming. However, in the second year and third years, the major could be different. For computer science, they will be more focusing on software, while for computer engineering, they will be focusing more on hardware. For example, for CS students, they will learn database, um, graphics, AI, and uh, software engineering, etc. While for computer engineering students, they will learn, for example, logical circuits, uh, digital analog circuits, and uh, microprocessors. Therefore, after graduation, most of computer science students they will choose to be a software engineer, while for computer engineering students they will choose to be a hardware engineer. Alright, let's talk about the second category. Basically, the electrical engineering and electrical and electronic engineering are the same. They, their curriculum are quite diverse, they can learn um, most of the stuff. For electrical and computer engineering, actually, their difference is computer engineering. I was studying in ECE department back in U University of Wisconsin-Madison and the students there they got a choice uh, to either focus more on electrical engineering or computer engineering. For the simple students, if you want to learn ice design, to you it's just learn it in NTU instead of NUS. The third category is mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering got, also got a lot of similarities with CS and also uh, EEE. And most of the students, they will choose to become the mechanical engineers after graduation. There are actually a lot of similarities between these three majors. So for example, if you're doing robotics, you can just go to each of these um, college. Because for any robot, right, you need to program it, you need to design the architecture, and you also need to design the circuits. I got friends from computer science, they also doing this kind of robots. And for me at Triple E, uh, we also got choices for uh, students to choose the robotics branch. And for mechanical engineering, they can also choose the robotics. And therefore, for robotics, I think this is the common error for the three majors. All right, the question is coming. So, which major should we choose? Personally, my suggestion is if you want to do programming, definitely, definitely go to CS or CE. Um, if you want to learn IC design, there's no choice, you have to go triple E or double E. If you want to do the circuit stuff, um, you can either go to CE or triple E. If you want to do uh, robots, you can go to any of these majors. If you want to do the specifically mechanical design, you have to go to mechanical engineering. Probably you also want to ask what's the average salary for students after graduation in these three majors. And my answer is, Computer science or computer engineering is larger than electrical engineering students and is larger than mechanical engineering students. And the problem here for mechanical engineering students is they really can't find the major related jobs. I have a lot of mechanical engineering friends. They, in 2020, they just can't find jobs. Um, and I believe not just in 2020, uh, even like five years later, mechanical engineering is really hard to find jobs. Since nowadays, a lot of companies are in, actually in the transition to the internet company. And therefore, more companies need uh, the software engineer instead of the mechanical engineers. While for electrical engineering students, that's totally fine since um, we learn a lot of stuff. For me, I'm from electrical engineering and I'm also studying in programming, right? and also decided to become a software engineer. Here is my general suggestion. If you have already determined you want to be a software engineer, if you love programming, please, please go to CS or CE instead of EEE. And here is the reason. When the students are finding jobs, the student A and student B, same profile, they're from same university, same GPA, same experience, same internships. When they give the resume for the same company, the same Position, same HR. When HR looks at the two students, 
one is from CS, another is from Triple E, then they definitely would take the CS student. And I got a lot of experience when the students they're applying for software engineering positions jobs. Actually, the HRs would just take the CS student. And for some job description, they would write that this software engineer position is only for CS student instead of any other majors. And there's actually a company, I would say its name, they're based in Singapore and uh, they're hiring a lot of software engineers and um, um, they will actually just give the full-time offer the full-time offer to those students from computer science without any technical interviews that's it but for me I also interviewed with them I got technical interviews since I'm an electrical engineering background and their interviews were just so ridiculous it's like 90 minutes long interview it's really really tired and uh, they gave me a lot of ridiculous questions. Therefore, you can see what's the difference between these two majors if you want to be a software engineer. And by the way, a lot of AAA students, they won't choose to be an engineer at all. They, they will choose to be a wealth manager or just go to bank. There are a lot of students like this. In conclusion, if you're graduating from computer science or computer engineering, 90% of the students, they will choose to become a software engineer. That's the case. But for those students from Triple E or ECE, only 50% of them would choose to be an engineer. They could be software engineer, they could be hardware engineer, they could be testing engineer, they could be a platform engineer, they also could be power engineer, they also could be um, the technical consultant, uh, and a lot of other positions. And for the rest of 50% of students, they will go to bank, um, they will go to insurance companies such as wealth management team, uh, they will also go to the government, for example. While for uh, mechanical engineering students, I would say 70% of those students they won't do uh, the mechanical related jobs. My suggestion is just follow your heart. If you are choosing a major that you do not like, you will suffer in these four years, absolutely. Therefore, just follow your heart, know what you want. If you have two choices and you do not know which you would like to choose, choose the one with more salary.